Apart from the Poisson point process, the most important random finite set in multi-object tracking is arguably the Bernoulli random finite set. Bernoulli random finite sets can be used to model several important quantities, and it's also the basis for the important multi-Bernoulli and multi-Bernoulli mixture processes described in later videos. In this video, we introduce the multi-Bernoulli random finite sets and describe how we can use them. If boldface X is a Bernoulli random finite set, its multi-object PDF is zero if the set X contains more than one element. It is R times PX of X if the set X contains the vector X, and it is one minus R if X is empty. Here, R is a number between zero and one that we often refer to as the existence probability, and P subindex X, where X is not boldface, is a PDF as a function of the vector X. It is easy to show that the cardinality PMF of the random finite set X is one minus R if X is empty, it's R if X contains one element, and zero if X contains two elements or more. Bernoulli random finite sets are commonly used to model the set of measurements from a single object. In fact, this is how we have modeled the measurements from a single object all along even though we previously stored the set of object measurements in a matrix. Bernoulli random finite sets can also model the distribution of a single potential object, where it enables us to represent both the possibility that the object may or may not be present, as well as the uncertainties in the location of the object. As an example, imagine that you're tracking a single object in conditions where your sensors only detect the object occasionally. This could be due to weather conditions, such as snow or rain. It could be due to poor lighting conditions, or because the object is far away. Bernoulli random finite sets can then help us represent uncertainties in the presence of that object, while also enabling us to express the uncertainties in the state of the object, assuming that the object is present. Sampling a Bernoulli random finite set is very simple. Here is one algorithm to do this. You initialize the set as empty and then generate a number rand. If that number is smaller than r, which happens with probability r, you generate the vector x from the PDF px and set the set boldface x to a set with the vector x as its only element. As you can see, if rand is larger than r, we obtain an empty set boldface x. Suppose x is a Bernoulli random finite set, which contains an element with probability r equals 0.7, and has a spatial distribution, which is Gaussian in two dimensions, with zero mean, and whose covariance matrix is the identity matrix. We have illustrated this PDF using a circle in the figure below. If you look at samples from this Bernoulli random finite set, you can see that it is sometimes empty, but more often it contains an element which is a vector that usually ends up somewhere in, or at least close to, this circle.